Welcome to our next installment. I'm just gonna keep going because it's been hard to get started today because we're both a little bit crazy. But that's okay, even in the midst of being crazy, which is most of the time, yeah. Uh, yeah, we still have beliefs. That drive everything. Exactly. So I'm Pastor Kyle. And I'm Molly. And we're talking about our basic beliefs. And there are these very foundational beliefs that do drive everything and that uh, in order for them to drive everything, in order for them to have the impact that they're meant to have in our lives, we kind of need to know what they are. So we've got one for this week, which is the theme of... Salvation. Salvation. Isn't that one... I'm really hungry and somebody has a steak or something. I'm oh, sad. Oh, I think that's salivating. Okay, like, so that's different. Word, drooling. drooling. Drooling? Okay. Yeah. So that's not it. No. Okay. No. So if we have salvation, well, so what is that? Salvation. It sounds very churchy. It does sound very churchy, and I think there's a lot of churchy words that go along with it. Okay. That kind of sometimes trip people up or sound. Yeah. They don't know what to do with them. So, yeah. So salvation itself, being a churchy word, what what does that mean? I know, I mean, it's, if that's such a very basic belief and it's important, what does it mean? We've got... Are you it's, asking it's me? It's not... Well, yeah. I mean, just we're asking everybody. The... Well, everybody that's watching, because not everybody is watching. Right. But... Yes. Share us. Yes, that's right. Share. <laughs> Salvation. Besides, so it's not drooling. It's not so drooling. if it, it, it has to do with. So uh, one time when I, one time when I was younger, only one time. Um, yeah. When I heard that word, I thought about when my dad, my dad restores old cars. So yeah. He would go to a salvage yard. Oh, that sounds similar. Oh, and there's Allie. Hi, Allie. Yeah. She looked, Allie Ernie looked down at us. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> she didn't, she probably too much glare on the window. Yes. That's but it. we saw her and waved, so yes, she knows did. that she's loved. She probably knows that anyway. Yes. Oh, this is a good time oh, to be coming by. Oh, we too. Yeah. Honk and wave. Okay, so there's salvage. Yes. And what are some of the other things that connect with it though because it you know old cars and parts if, well, yeah you're talking about like fantasy football teams like that game winning touchdown thing or? there I well gosh there know. are lots of different terms that seem to go with football and yeah. religion it's really yes. weird yeah it's very weird in other words that that are a part of this for relationship by grace grace yep Grace is another word that uh, we use in everyday life, like... Um, it's something, you know, people, I'm not, I'm not very, you know, the, like la ladylike and poised, you know? <laughs> just, <laughs> that's not me, sorry. Um, but... Uh, but well, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> right answer. Moving on. Uh, and... What was the next one here? We got... Faith. Faith. Yep. Faith. That one. We've got faith for. Well, back to sports again. Yep. Yep. Uh, if anybody's a uh, Vikings fan, then you may have faith that somehow the Vikings could still pull out a season. Obviously, very early, but they haven't been looking. But anyway. But so yeah, there's even faith. though they lost to the worst team in the league, we right. still have faith. We that still have gonna faith. They're going to pull this off. Yes. So faith is part of our lives as well. What is that? How does that work into having faith and grace through faith? Right relationship with God by grace through faith. Yikes. There's just a lot of stuff that we're not sure how it connects. Right. And then... Sin. Sin. Yes, yeah, sin. That's very mm. churchy. That one we don't necessarily use as often. Uh, sin... 
in the Bible. There are a couple of different versions of this, a couple of different uh, definitions that come through the Bible. One being when you uh, trespass. It's part of the Lord's Prayer. Forgive yes. us our, our trespasses sin. as though we forgive those yes. who trespass against us. Trespass is another word for sin and it's biblical yep. and it has to do with uh, crossing a line. Right, and then there's that one that like it literally means missing the mark. Missing the mark. Kind of like, like when you try to throw something in the garbage can and you don't make it like hey, most of the time. It's, there's a windy in my office. <laughs> no, okay, that Go wasn't that. so good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> mm, I'd left that open. But mm -hmm. so lots of words like that that are a part of what we believe for salvation. So that's this weekend. Yeah, really, really important. Really. And uh, so we resources. Had, yeah, and resources will be you know, listed down there, but it's mm -hmm. so important we don't want to get hung up on these churchy phrases. Yeah, so, find out, we'll find yeah. out what it means some more. So thank you for watching. See you Sunday. Okay, and if you can't be there Sunday, um, I hope you can look at the resources and uh, get into the scripture, especially praying for you. Love you. Bye. Bye.